everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. So today I thought I would film something a little bit different. I know I say that quite a lot, but this video really is a bit different. You already know what it is because of the title. I need to sneeze. <coughs> Great. So I'm going to be doing a video today where I talk about tea and mugs for tea because uh, there's one of my favorite YouTubers ever, um, Essie Button, did a video exactly the same as this the other day, so it ex expired, no, it inspired me to film one myself because I love tea. So if you like tea and you find buying a new mug really exciting like I do, then you should probably carry on watching this video. My tea's gone cold because I've been faffing around with my hair. Okay, so first tea I'm going to show is the one that I'm drinking because I think that that makes sense. And this is the Twinings Salted Caramel Green Tea. Now, I love green tea. Um, green tea is super good for you. And everyone always says, like, oh, if you want to lose weight, drink green tea. And it's so good for you and it makes you lose weight and all that kind of stuff. I don't personally drink it to lose weight. Um, I just think that it is really good for you. And... It does speed up your metabolism, so if you do want to eat something that's a little bit unhealthy, to drink a green tea kind of with it or after it um, is going to help you burn the fat quicker, so it is really good to drink. Um, and green tea on its own can be a bit bitter tasting. I'm not the biggest fan of green tea on its own, um, so I like to get the flavoured ones, and obviously salted caramel, it doesn't taste like salt, it just tastes slightly sweeter than normal green tea and makes it a lot easier to drink. Okay, the next tea is fairly standard, but I thought I would just include it anyway. And it's just normal black tea. So this is PG Tips, and this is what we drink in our family. They're the ones with the pyramid shape, so it's supposed to get a nicer tasting tea or whatever. But I just love this, and I use skimmed milk, and I do have one sugar. But sometimes I use agave nectar because that's a little bit better for you. Okay, so I'll stick to the green teas whilst I was talking about them. The first one I've got is lemon and honey green tea. Now I really like this. Um, they don't really smell of them, actually smell quite sweet. Um, these are, I don't know, I always find myself going to these if I've got a bit of a sore throat or if I'm not feeling too well. Because obviously you associate lemon and honey with having a cold or having a sore throat and you drink hot lemon and honey. But I just think these are really nice and again it's just a much nicer way of drinking green tea because it tastes a little bit sweeter. And then this is my all time favourite green tea, it's the Twinings Mint Green Tea. So this is basically a mixture of green tea and mint tea, I love both of them so together it just tastes amazing. It's not too strong, it just smell minty and I just think these are gorgeous and this is probably the one I drink the most out of all of them. I then have um, a pucker tea and this is the Supreme Matcha Green Tea. Um, again, these are really good because they come in little individual sachets, so I just really like that. Um, and obviously matcha tea is like the finest source of green tea you can get, so it's like the most concentrated source of it. Um, and you can buy kind of matcha powder to put in smoothies and things like that but this one is in a tea bag so it's a lot easier to use but this one is like um i don't know how many times but a lot of times better for you than just um normal green tea and i really like pucker as a brand i think they're really good they support um the wwf which is the world wildlife fund world wildlife fund don't know if that's the exact name they're just all about kind of organic and everything and i just love them and i have a lot more pucker tea to show you so i'll just drink the matcha green tea if i'm having a healthy day i then have a mint tea this is the pucker three mint tea it is um peppermint spearmint and field mint and it does taste gorgeous and again i like to have this after meals just to kind of help with digestion things like that um and this is just really lovely just mint tea in general is just lovely and this is one of my favourite. Okay, I have another pucker tea, a lot of these are pucker. Um, the peppermint and licorice, I mentioned this in my last video, my uh, January favourites video. If you haven't watched that I'll leave a link below and you can go and check that out in a minute. But this is amazing, it tastes like a cup of sugar, like seriously if you don't like sweet things you probably won't like this but it's so sweet and I would never have thought of trying this because I hate licorice but um, Essie Button whose video this originally was she recommended this and she said that 
a lot of people will be like, oh, licorice, that is disgusting, and that is what I did. But I decided to try it, and I'm so happy I did. And the packaging, can we just, like, take a moment? So, um, the licorice tea has detoxifying um, properties to it, and um, I found out from Essie's video that apparently the um, licorice is also really good to use as a natural stress and anxiety reliever so if you find yourself getting quite stressed or anxious about things this is really good so it's quite a calming tea to drink then have a tea pigs um tea and this is the chai tea i think this is the only tea pigs one i've got but these are gorgeous i love tea pigs so much the only reason i don't have more is because they are very expensive i think this is about five pounds um but the thing I love most is the tea bags. They're like in silk packaging. I don't know if you can see, they're in silk packaging. And I just think that it's so gorgeous and I feel like these are a treat. So if I want to treat myself um, and feel like I'm having a bit more of a posh tea, then I will go for one of these because I just feel like they're a bit of a treat. And yeah, chai tea, if you don't know what chai tea is, it's quite cinnamony tasting. Um, I associate this more with kind of winter and autumn. I probably won't be drinking these in the summer because I feel like they're quite a warm drink, like a warm spicy drink. Um, but yeah, they are really, really lovely. Okay, I then have two teas that I associate with kind of nighttime and relaxing and kind of chamomile-y type thing. The first one I have is a Twinings Relaxing Chamomile and Spearmint Tea. Um, I don't know why I tried this, I just know that I like minty teas and I'm not too fond of chamomile tea on its own, I find it a bit too flowery. So I thought I'd give this a go and I love it and I'm not even joking, like this isn't sponsored or anything, this is all my own opinions. When I had this tea for the very first time I took it up to bed with me and I was sat on my laptop and I was drinking this tea and I just felt so sleepy and relaxed and it I swear it was this tea and every time I've had it since like I've had such a good night's sleep afterwards and it just makes me feel so zen and just relaxed and like it really does make you super tired drinking this so if you have trouble sleeping I would definitely recommend you try some of this and the last tea I have is another pucker tea and it's the pucker nighttime tea I tried this um, quite a while ago I got this one because Tanya Bear had it in one of her videos and she said that it was really lovely to drink before bed. It says it's a dreamy blend of organic oat flour, lavender and lime flour. The smell of this one isn't too nice. Um, is it too nice? I don't know if that's right. is isn't very nice because, I don't know, when you boil this and you add the hot water, I'm not too keen on the smell. It smells like an old granny's house. That is the only way I can describe it. And I can smell it now and I, I don't like the smell. But the taste is really nice too. If you can get past the smell then um, definitely try it. The kind of herbally taste to it just lets you melt away and relax. And yeah, I just really like it. I then thought I would just show you some of my favourite mugs because why not? Everybody loves a mug. The first one I have is, well I should probably show you this one. This is one that's been featured in a lot of my recent videos. Um, it's from Sainsbury's and it was in the sale for some reason. It's got like a mustard yellow rim around it and then kind of little lines all over it in grey and it's just a really nice size to have like a little cup of tea. It doesn't fill you up too much and this cut reminds me of Essie Button. I think she would really like this. So yeah, I love this mug so much. The next one I have is another one that I picked up in the sale and I'm pretty sure this was from Tesco and it was like a pound or 50p in the sale, it was ridiculous and me and my mum both got one because we loved them so much and it's this little polka dot mug, it's just cream or white, white with little grey polka dots on and then on the inside it's grey and again this is a really decent sized mug, um, it's not too big so it doesn't fill you up and you don't have like a massive drink and yeah I just think it's really cute and I have loved this a lot recently. This one I got for Christmas and it's been on my Instagram a few times but it's this e-mug. I don't know if that's backwards for you. It's backwards for me looking in the viewfinder. I don't know. Um, it's this e-mug and I wanted a mug with an e on it for such a long time because I think they look really vintage and I just really love them. And my mum and dad said that they found this in Matalan so not a usual place that I would look for for mugs but there you go and then the last mug I have is just one that I thought I'd show because all of those mugs are quite small um, and if I want like a really big cup of tea or 
yeah, I just want a bigger drink. Then I really like the Kath Kidston mugs. The one I think is so pretty. We've had these for a really long time. Me and mum went through like a phase of buying loads of Kath Kidston mugs. But yeah, I thought I'd just show you this because I really like Kath Kidston mugs and they're really nice. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different, but I didn't really know what else to film and I loved watching Essie's video that was similar to this. Um, I hope you found it interesting knowing what teas I like and why I like to drink which ones and when I like to drink which ones. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new and you're not already subscribed. Comment down below, let me know what your favourite tea is, if you have a favourite tea. Yes, I think that's it. Um, <clears throat> bit of self-promotion here, but um, if you didn't know, I do have a written blog, and I'll leave a link to that down below so you can go and check out that, because I, I've been doing a lot of blogging photography recently, and I'm currently writing up all of the posts for it. So if you like to read people's blogs, then head over, and there's lots of nice photography and content and reviews and wish lists and all that kind of stuff. So yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye! Yeah! What? You down here? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no.